we're Filipina and we easily get, you know, hurt. We're very, very sensitive and emotional. For me personally, it's very important how to communicate with a woman that is sensitive. What was your biggest fear before when you dated a foreigner? So that's my biggest fear when I started um, dating a foreigner. That's my observation. So aside that, nothing else. I'm I'm so happy that I never encounter like you know or insulted by other uh, foreign people while I'm traveling. So it just it makes me want to travel more. <laughs> At least you're so really I'm happy. <clears throat> yes, I am. <laughs> 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 at your age right now have you ever experienced like trouble in communicating with your partner and what was the situation i would say it depends on um what country your boyfriend from because there's some i would say from guy from usa they're very specific and very um forward i've dated different you know um nationality and i've learned the differences so for american guy they're very straightforward and they would tell what it's in their mind and for me, I think I take it in a wrong way. So that's like, you know, for, for us, I think that's like hard part that for him, he's telling the right words, but for me, it hurtful. It's so offensive. I, yes. Um, sometimes for him is not mean. Sometimes for me, it's mean or rude for me, but it's not rude for him. So I think that communication, yes, um, I'm having a, like a trouble. I don't know. Well, for me, I think depends on um, probably um, the, the guy that you're dating, I guess. Because I've dated one, two guys that are very straightforward, but sometimes it hurtful offensive and sometimes rude for me but for them it's not so i guess that's like um yeah My, that's ex yes that's the um the problem that i have <laughs> but i guess you know we're filipina and we easily get you know hurt we're very very sensitive and emotional so i guess um that's the thing that i have to practice on not getting hurt easily <laughs> maybe okay. it's <is> like <laughs> so anyway aside um aside nothing so it, it can easily fix though uh, you have to just have a proper communication and you know and try to let other the other partner understand what you're trying to say Aside that I don't have like a big, you know, problem at all in okay. terms of communicating. Yes. That's good. At least it's just cultural differences. That's the reason why you misunderstand each other. Yes. So, but have you ever, this is just a joke question. Have you <laughs> ever experienced like you're trying to explain something, but you ran out of words to say? It's like... <laughs> You're so angry already and you're about to explain what your feelings are, but you can't explain it because you forgot the words to, to say. Um, yes, it happens. And then I find something that is closer to the, <laughs> it's closer to that word he, he could understand. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I, sometimes you will forget, especially your, your, you're in the mental state that you know you're about to explode and like you're boiling you know so sometimes you forgot some words but of course you want to express how you feel so you have to find a, like um kind of close to the words that you're trying to say <laughs> so you your partner could understand because sometimes that could also cost um you know a uh, problem if you are having a um, miscommunication 
each yes. other. So, absolutely. But do you think that communication is important in a relationship, Moana? For me personally, it's very important that you guys can communicate even in small things, even in a small problem. It should be you guys to like, you know, communicate at least, you know, what's the problem. Because sometimes Filipina or woman doesn't, you know, we don't tell to our partner that, you know, oh, you hurt me. You say this word, it's really hurtful. We're just like acting, um, yeah, we're pretending that we don't feel that way. We, we don't feel that hurt that what he said. And then kind of we're acting silence, acting weird differently so the man cannot understand that you know personality or attitude of a woman so mm, i guess you have to have a proper communication so he would understand your side and of course you would understand his side of why he tell you that such thing so at this yes communication is a must in a relationship very very important for me Okay, so you say that you need to communicate with your woman. How to communicate with a woman that is sensitive? How can they approach them? For me, to the guy, you have to use approach them in a sweet way because if they're like you know, if they're very sensitive, the every words that you say, you're trying to tell her like the right way but because she's she's very sensitive they're taking it in a wrong way so <laughs> it goes to like you know you're gonna fight ended up fighting so i think um the guy should approach the girl in the sweet way buddhist way and um choose the right words to tell to the girl because you know, she's very, I mean, I'm sensitive, but sometimes I could get some words, sometimes I don't. And sometimes, like, because of our emotion, everything is like, oh, no, he's telling me this, he's telling me that, and it's not good. And I was like, Ugh! so it's boiling you down. So, yeah, I think that's the good way to approach the sensitive woman or girl. Just choose okay. your words. <laughs> <laughs> I think every woman wants to be spoken in a polite way. I think mo most women are like that. Yes, I've experienced that. So yes, yes, <laughs> I agree. How about this? What was your biggest fear before when you dated a foreigner before? Biggest fear is to get hurt and also the language barrier because it's not our native uh, language English so for me that was like this that I'm afraid I'm scared of dating a foreigner before but time to time that I like you know um tried to learn uh, tried to practice and try to communicate to, um a foreign people then now I I still have like a little fear right now but not the same as before when i first you know started dating a foreigner so that's my biggest fear when i started um, dating a foreigner get hurt because no one's love to get hurt and also the the the, the language but when it comes to the pros and cons in dating a foreigner what are the things that you can um explain to them about dating a foreigner and what to expect about dating one and what would be the cons of dating a foreigner a foreigner <coughs> excuse me um for foreigners they're very very sweet and they're loyal for me in my experience they're loyal all the time and they're very very supportive in your career in your life that's what i really really like about dating a foreigner and uh, like always mindful 
not to hurt the partner. So that's why I, that's what I like about dating a foreigner. Cons, I would say, not all, but I experienced that they don't want it to adjust. Like for for women, because we love our partner, we adjust some things because of the culture differences. So you have to adjust, you have to under, understand the partner. But some guys don't know how to adjust about the culture, which is that's, I think that's that's all for me because I've been dating nice guy, so I don't have like you know, um, any disadvantage of uh, dating a foreigner. Okay, you say that you dated. How many times that you dated a foreigner? Three. Three, Three serious ones. Yes, the first foreigner I dated that it's like you know I was like uh, it's like the end of the world <laughs> <So slow. laughs> yeah and then the second one is two years and then the third one is almost two years also it's like one and a half year yeah okay so I believe I think- the first love was the first one <laughs> yeah I think we broke up because of the the reason is work long distance long distance relationship. It's really hard to work it out together. So I think it's the main issue that we have. We can't survive. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're bitter right now. <laughs> <laughs> You still have that feeling a little bit that you're um, a little bit hurt right now. Um, so, pre- no, I already like, you know, move on. Yes, already move on. And now I get hurt again. But I think that's a relationship. Just, you know, diluted. Okay, so when it comes to having a relationship we have our privacy right yep. so do you think filipinos and filipinas knows the word privacy 